Hello and welcome back to EGL6 in Sweden. We're going on to this third map, Capture the Flag on Bootleg. It is Enigma versus Link. Enigma currently lead 2 for 0. I'm joined by Ben. Say hello, Ben. Hello, guys. We've seen some great Call of Duty so far for EGL6. And <laughs> to be honest, this game hasn't disappointed either. Enigma have set out very strong. They have a two map advantage right now. I'm going to go ahead and spectate them on this first side. Arguably the better side of Bootleg. And I'm going to get straight up board with Joxie, who every time we've spectated him, he seems to do something impressive. He's such a good AR, it seems. And straight away, Enigma not messing around, showing their intentions. That's three down straight away. No idea how Joxie just saw these, but he manages to drop him. And Enigma just showing their intent. They pulled that flag already, and we're not even 30 seconds into the game. Yeah, Zeb actually going very, very aggressive. They're like, wow, absolutely dropping them all <gasps> over the map. That is oh, an easy right. flag pull so quickly. Going through the middle of the Zeb has got that bricks locked down at the moment. <laughs> Zeb and Joxie locking this map down. And there is absolutely nothing you can do when you're playing against ARs like this. I mean, Joxie and Z both exchanging kills, both covering both sides. Now you're going to see Joxie rotate to Bricks. So unfortunately, Z did die. So you've just seen Joxie just make his way all the way top mid. He is going to see one. There's two. Can he get the second? Oh, has a bit of help from DZ. And he gets the two piece. Henky dead. B road. But once again, three down. And if Link carry on playing like this, this could be a cap fest, if I'm honest. Yeah, Link needs to maybe slow down. Try and take back a little bit of map control and just stop this Enigma pressure. Otherwise, like you said, they keep running out. They're just going to keep getting dropped by these ARs who are just locking down the map. Yeah, Joxie has just seen someone at bikes. There he is. He's challenged. I don't know why he challenged. That was kind of foolish. And oh, Joxie with the two piece. Oh, can he get the third? No, last guy in green. A lot of pressure on Link right now. Hanky very weak. And that's probably going to kill him. Yeah, that nade did unfortunately kill him. But is he just checking the flag, so doing everything right right now. The, these two ARs for Enigma really are looking strong as DJ gets us two piece, and so are the SMGs to be fair. I mean, it, it's all good and well giving all the credit to the ARs. They're the ones that are racking up the kills. But when your SMGs are pulling the flags as well as these Enigma players are, I mean, you saw 30 seconds, not even that, and the flag was already pulled and capped, so really, really good play coming from Enigma so far. Yeah, like you said, Link are actually doing really well to hold on at the moment. Because Enigma seems to have just found a new gear that they've stepped into. Oh. Almost missing that kill though. Had to go back. That flag is gone again. Like I said, they seem to have just new lease of life here. They're absolutely tearing into Link this half. I mean, the kills. I mean, Henke right now, he's actually 0 and 5. He hasn't actually picked up a kill. But he's got DZ and Zeeb on 7 and Joxie on 9. And Joxie is just, Oh, if he'd have got that kill, that would have been very nice indeed. But Henke's there. He is going to get off the mark, but can't get that 2 piece. So unfortunate play from Henke, and that flag is going to be returned, no doubt. But 2 minutes 36, considering how much Enigma are out slaying, they really need to be trying to cap more flags, if I'm honest. I mean, they, they've only touched the flag twice, and they've capped it once. But Link are doing such a good job of just holding on right now. Yeah, even though they're dying all over the show, Link, like I said, just managed to delaying tactics, not letting Enigma actually get this flag away, which is kind of stalling them a little bit. You're probably going to see Link come back a little bit now and maybe try and take a little bit of map control, just get this Enigma pressure off them for a bit. Yeah, they have just been completely overwhelmed by this pressure from Enigma. I mean, straight away, each Enigma player won their first gunfight and they just took complete control over the map as Hanky is going to shut down Hass, who was making a move on B Road, and he's going to make his way through mid as Viz takes down Z, but this he takes down Viz straight away. And Hanky looks like he's going to try and get himself in a position where he can pull that flag in as he has some support for his ARs. See someone rushing green, dr drops him as well, and he has support in the form of DC who takes down Kerry. Hanky with the pistol <laughs> gets denied by Viz's nade. Unfortunate play there from Hanky. Yeah, I think Enigma are going to try and set up again here. They really need another flag to get away. They've done so much work already, and to not only have one flag is kind of, well, it, it's shocking to be fair. Like I said, they've been all over this Link team in this first half. Yeah, and DC is going to pull that flag now. As, oh, he does get dropped by Viz with a knife, so smart play. Obviously, he was hiding in a corner, but Joxie's going to say, I see you there. And he takes down Viz as Rob takes down Henke. Joxie, is, uh, once again, he's going to go for the spawn kills on this left-hand side. He's done such a good job so far. Uh, so have both the ARs, but to be fair, the SMGs really do need to be trying to pick it up. As Kerry takes down Joxie, so Henke we're going to default over to now as he's on top plat, making his way towards Bricks as one of his teammates does get dropped by Kerry in that midsection. And Henke is going to see someone by that green dustbin. And Kerry drops Henke as well. So Joxie is going to have to do some defensive work. And whoa, massive change of pace. Link has pulled the flag now and they are running that away. But, oh, flag has been dropped. So nice, nice play there coming from Enigma. Yeah, I said, Joxie, actually, has someone been feeding this guy something else during the break? <laughs> My God, has he come out strong in this game? Absolutely going to use 13 for 5 at the moment, and everywhere we've seen him, he's been dominating whatever area of the map he's in. Unbelievable play. Like I said, it's such a shock they haven't pulled more flags this side. Yeah, 30 seconds left on this first side off CTF bootleg. 
And to be completely honest, I, considering how favourite the side they're on is now, it's going to be quite tough, especially if Link come out aggressive. But it is all going to come down to that. How are Link going to play this second half? It doesn't look like anyone's going to be pulling another flag just yet. 16 seconds left. Joxy, oh, nice play. Takes down Viz. Very weak himself, though. But 10 seconds, no one else is going to pull a flag. So, I mean, they only have a one flag cap lead. I mean, what do you think? Do you reckon Link can come back into this? Um, I don't know. Like I said, it's a little bit... I find the other side a little bit easier, so Link will be on a slightly better side, but... I can't believe Enigma have only managed to get one flag home. Link have done really well to just hold off what was essentially what I thought was a bit of a rout at the start. So we're going to see, <laughs> we're going to see um, what they can do here. It'll be very interesting to see how Enigma play this. Are they still going to be as aggressive? Uh, to, be, mm, to be honest, it's a tough choice. I mean, we will go ahead and change team and we'll have a look at how Link are going to play. Obviously now probably on the more beneficial side. And I'm going to get straight on board with Hass, who's making his way bottom mid. And no nonsense, does get stunned though. And there's that Semtex, tries to throw Semtex of his own, is very weak. And it wouldn't surprise me if someone challenges Hass right there. He's going to be on the staircase, jumps the corner, can he get that kill? Nice play by Hass, but does get dropped by Choxy once again, dominating that B road side of things. But Robs is going to try and make his way up, but he gets denied by Zeep, who's playing a bit more defensive now. Yeah, like I said, we've seen Zeb do that before, just holding off that spawn, and it seems probably what he'll do this half. I mean, that was a very dodgy spot for Enigma there, three down, but Zeb pulled out the two piece, completely stopped any sort of pressure. So it looks like they're just maybe going to set up. I think we're going to see Enigma probably slack off that aggression a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, and we see Viz right now. He's on the spawn kills, and he's just dominating right now. He, I think he's on like a three kill streak so far, but it doesn't seem like anyone else can sort of touch him. He does rotate. He has got a guy top mid, and Henke drops him. So nice play there by Henke rotating around. It's going to be two link players up, and all oh, has smart lets him go. And is he just going to? Oh, I thought he may have pulled and tried to stun, but he's just going to flank back now and see if he can find him. But decides better of it, and just going to keep some map control just in case this Enigma team pull that flag. Yeah, it looks like he's maybe just trying to... I think he looked a little bit hesitant now. I think he was going up the top plat, maybe to try and clear it so his team could break out. But no, now he's decided to see if he can run it. Sometimes it's easy to get a little bit lucky. If your team gets in the right places, they can just choke this, but no, gets taken down. Like I said, he tried to be a little bit lucky there and just sort of sneakily get it away and hope his team could sort of lock down that map while the flag was pulled. Yeah, it was unfortunate play. It's one of those decisions you have to make, especially when you're one flag cap down. That's all that's in this game right now. But obviously, if Enigma win it, they're going to win this best of three. Three maps to O. So, a lot of pressure on Link to, to try and win this. And they're going to need at least two flags to do that as Zeeb takes down Haas. And we default over to Robs, whose bottom mid he is weak. And he looks like he's just going to rotate all the way down into top mid, rather. And he has got some support, but it looks like he's just going to take his time now. Three minutes, plenty of time left in this game. Yeah, it is an interesting strategy Enigma are using. Like I said, they don't seem to be putting the aggressiveness to use that much this half. As Zeb with a two-piece there. Joxy taking down another one. These ARs really are locking down this map for this Enigma oh. team. Zeb, and again with another kill. Like I said, they've managed to turn this entire round. This could be a counter-cap situation here. But like I said, Enigma seem to be sitting back quite a lot. They don't seem to be pushing as hard as they were the last half. And you know what? Actually working for them right now. I'd be wary if they start sitting back too much because it could lead to them being, you know, go down and being capped very easily. Yeah. But no, that flag is way for Henke right now. Yeah, it's a bit of a counter cap scenario going on. And Link needs to be very careful of that. And he, oh, Kerry, he needs to make this kill. And he does just that. But interesting, he's just going to move away. He needs to keep his eyes on that flag. He's going to see one more person and doesn't get that kill. Gets denied by Joxy once again going huge. And that is going to be a flag cap. And with two minutes left, now we need to see Link being aggressive. They cannot sit back. It wouldn't surprise me maybe if they pulled out four SMGs. Oh no, he just misses the jump there as he got stunned. <laughs> Trying to get the kills. Like I said Link have really got to try and push this up right now. If they can't start actually making some kills and shutting these ARs down, they're going to have an awful lot of trouble. Especially as Zeb has just pulled the flag again as the AR is now running it. Obviously, Robs <laughs> is now right at the back of their spawn. It'll be very interesting to see what Link do. They are massively on the back foot here and don't look like in any real hope of coming back in this game. Yeah, a lot of pressure on Robs now. He cannot afford to choke this. The problem is people are going to be spawning to his right, and that is exactly what's happening. So weak. Can he get a kill? He does get bottom ramp, and there's the guy at Bricks. Went for the elaborate jump, but couldn't make it, but he has got supporting carry. Can carry make this kill? He has already shot. They're going to know he's there. Does manage to weaken the flag, but can't get the kill. Has to be very careful that it's one behind him, and that is exactly what happens once again. And that flag is going to go in, and I can't see Link coming back from this now. No, I, I think this is what is known as game over. Um, Henke actually doing really well there in the last nine seconds of getting that flag. He picked up a two-piece to get kill the reinforcements and then come back and actually managed to kill the person stopping that flag going in. So, you know what, last couple of seconds he really was instrumental in getting that flag home for his team. Yeah, it was really, really well played. And Enigma showing the dominance 
And I know there's a lot of Enigma fans in the chat and quite a lot of people saying that, you know, this Enigma team look like they could win this event. And if they carry on playing like this, they genuinely do have a good chance. I mean, I'm going to stay on board with Haas now, see if he can try and get himself a consolation flag. He's going to run bottom mid, but 40 seconds left. There is absolutely no way Link coming back into this and it looks like Enigma are going to win 3-0. Yeah, I believe even if they relay, it would be almost impossible to get this flag back in time now. Um, I can't remember exactly this flag speed run on this. I believe it's about 11 seconds if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, almost impossible now. But you know what? Link did very, very well to put up with that Enigma pressure in the second half. But you know what? They shouldn't have really lost the second half. They couldn't seem to break through Enigma at any time. Enigma mm. have played so well in this bootleg ATM. Yeah, they really did play strong. I mean, in the first half, we just saw ruthless aggression. Straight away, they were just out slaying. I mean, we were both kind of surprised at the fact that they only managed to get that one flag, but they've gone 3 0 on the second side, so clearly Enigma must be further to what I consider to be the bad side. But they played so well. I mean, if you just look at the scoreboard, you've got both Zeeb and Joxy, 26 kills apiece. I mean, when you're playing, that's what you want to see your ARs doing, just out slaying completely, and that is completely the only reason that Enigma have won that so comfortably. You know what? They actually seem to complement each other really well. Um, Zeb and Joxy seem to be, you know, what either side where they needed to control that spawn, so they always had each other's back. And if they needed to go aggressive or they needed to play passive, they were both there. Yeah, absolutely. And oof, we are just going to go to a quick break, and we will be back very, very shortly.